Hi, Hub Ark, publisher and editor here at Pro Football Weekly, updating you on a little Thanksgiving football and what we saw as it relates to the playoff chase and maybe an eventual champion in the NFL. It was kind of fun to see three teams playing on Turkey Day who all figure to be in the playoffs, possibly even go deep. The New England Patriots and the New York Jets still tied with the best records in the NFL. What did we learn about New England in Detroit? Well, that defense is still a lot of bend but don't break. They obviously weren't ready early on the short week, but boy, did they take over in the second half. Tom Brady and Bill Belichick have that offense clicking in such a way that if you're going to get into a point scoring war with them, you're going to be in trouble. So the question is, how far can that Patriot defense take them? Well, as long as they keep getting the big takeaways, making the key plays, they're a very dangerous team, and it sets up for a great football game. Monday night in a week as they get to meet with the Jets and decide who's going to win that AFC East. They're both going to be in the playoffs, and the Jets, well, they look like they're ready to win a division crown as well. Very impressive against Cincinnati. Also struggled a little bit in the first half. I think the question we have to have about the Jets coming out of that ball game with the Bengals is do they have to rely on big plays and gimmick plays to win every football game? They're winning on Rex Ryan's system as much as they're winning on their talent. And yes, they've got great talent, but they're probably not quite the complete football team that some of the other playoff contenders are. Mark Sanchez doing a real nice job at quarterback, but we saw against the Bengals Every once in a while, he's still prone to that, well, not rookie mistake, but the things young quarterbacks do that can cost you playoff games. Nonetheless, the Jets and the Patriots, very, very impressive. What do we take out of the Cowboys and the New Orleans Saints? Well, the defending champions are ready to defend. There's no question about that, even though they didn't defend anybody in the second half of that football game. Now, Jason Garrett may get a chance to keep that job in Dallas, but one of the questions you got to ask is how come his teams don't play in the first half? They only play in the second half. They've got plenty of talent. They showed that they're ready to play with playoff contenders like the New Orleans Saints, but couldn't get it done in the end. Was that just a question of the class rising? I think it was. you got to remember again, the New Orleans Saints, the defending world champions on the road, short week, won a big, big football game. Don't sleep on the Saints come playoff time. For Pro Football Weekly, I'm Hub Arkish, and for more breaking news, analysis, and way we hear it, check back right here at ProFootballWeekly.com, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.